Good evening. This is Urban Cabo. This is going to be the final entry for my retro challenge. I thought I might as well do a video. This is Marmalade the Cat. It's keeping me company at the moment. It's amazing. I've spent about five minutes trying to work out how to set this video camera up. Just goes to show, no matter how long you've got something like this, you never quite master it. Okay, so the final part of my challenge was to get a suitably retro BBS piece of software running on the Alpha that's in the basement and be able to connect up to that via dial-up. So we've got the VT320, which is also featured earlier in the competition. That's a uh, Alpha station, which I've been doing most of the development work on. Just show you the back of this terminal. This here is a little Datatronics portable modem which is currently got a battery in it so there's no power going to that. Just plug straight into the back on the 25 bin D type on the back of the terminal. So we turn that on. You don't get any lights on it until you turn the power on for the terminal for some reason. It's shows you to start with. So I turn the terminal. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. It's always a nice surprise when it doesn't. So there we go. We've got some lights on the modem now. Now I'm going to just plug this camera in. If I can get it into the slot properly. That's it. Right. Get, try and get some sort of focus going here. That's it. And turn the right, that's it. Okay. So I think this modem's set up so it doesn't give you any response to commands. Yeah, it's one of the AT options to tell it not to do that. So but the fact we've got a local echo means that it's talking to something. I'll try and get the commands right. Right, so that's our dial string, which is bizarrely ringing out of this house and then back into this house into the basement. Okay, the modem downstairs picked up. Sweet sound of success, hopefully. And we're in. Okay. Right, so we log in with BBS, password BBS, and there we go. Our login set up to be a captive account, pulling you straight into the bulletin board system software that we've now got set up. Um, it was originally developed in 1988 by a guy at the University of Arkansas, and I'm going to send him an email, found his email address. Um, giving me the, the dial up or the telnet access and uh, see what he thinks of <laughs> some idiot getting his software back up and running again. Okay, so it asks you for your name. If I can spell that right. There we go. Yep, that's correct. Enter your password. Now I've done a little bit of customization on this um, software, but I've not had an awful a lot of time to get it more specific to this system. So it's got typical things like file transfer areas, bulletins for messages, private messages systems, um, a log of who's logged in, uh, you can change your own user info. If I go to bulletins, then we get the original bulletins that were set up for the uh, Arkansas system. So you can see there's a 12 commandments which will make perfect sense, obviously. Thou shalt not use bad language. Thou shalt not use an alias. Thou shalt be somewhat tolerant of those less mature than yourself. I think I fall into that category now. Um, it's interesting that people were originally limited to an hour a day on the dial-up system, which uh, if anyone's done a lot of dial-up in the past, especially if it happens to be their mum and dad's telephone line knows that the pennies soon mount up, or well, they did back then. 
Um, file transfer areas are interesting as well. They've got nothing in them, but these were the transfer areas that were originally set up. Radio Shack stuff, Commodore 128, Amiga, Apple, ST, or oh, back in the day, eh? <laughs> Radio Shack Model 2's Coco's, there we go, there's the Coco interest. Um, and that's about as far as I've got. Uh, there's nothing in the file areas, but there's nothing to stop anyone dialing in now and adding files. Um, you can, if you don't use your own name, don't, don't, if you haven't used the system before, you can set up uh, a login and away you go. So there we go guys, that's the end of my retro challenge for this year. Thanks for watching.